<laughs> okay, so I think there, I think there's a few things that I need to say before we get into this episode um, about Russ and his song called Handsomer, which, which we're gonna talk about really in great detail. But he he he, he named the song uh, Handsomer, and I think I have to say a few things before we get into this. Um, majority of what this song is is about stereotypes between a man and a woman, which um. Or really, between two people, honestly, it's not really. Ha- it doesn't have to really be based on men and women. So we're going to talk about it. Uh, but before I want to give some background before I go into this, because I I know I haven't really talked about Russ on any of my episodes. So Russ is a rapper, American rapper from New Jersey, and slightly, I think he's a slightly independent rapper. So we will talk about that. Uh, but I think this is a different sound that we don't really hear from, like any um, New Jersey in a New Jersey in a place where people think, oh, well, we have rappers in New Jersey. So um, I'm, I'm gonna get into the song called Handsomer, but we'll get right into this after a word from our sponsor. Okay, so can you believe, right? Because I said this, I said Russ is from New Jersey. So it's rare for us to go, hey, yo, we have rappers. Like people think when they think rappers or rappers that have made it past the mainstream, they go to California, they go to New New York, they go to Florida, they go to Atlanta. We don't really see rappers from New Jersey that come out and make it out of mainstream, but also aren't from one of the main capital states, like the states of, uh, the three states of rap, like, this is different, he's, he's closer to New York, of course, but he's from New Jersey, so we're gonna talk about this a little bit, about this song called Handsomer, where he just kinda, originally I think this was supposed to be a, uh, response and answer, which we get in the remix, and I'm gonna talk about the remix in another episode, but the first stereotype is he says, the money makes him handsomer, which, which I think is true to a certain aspect. Like he says, the money makes him handsomer, and something about height, which I think a lot of people. We get into these stereotypes where, to a certain amount of people, and I think uh, it can be said per really anybody, but there are people that only look for like money, and a person don't look for personality, don't look for looks or anything, but they look. De- <clears throat> dependably on what, like, what does that person bring? Like, how much money do they bring? If they don't bring enough money to that person, that person isn't isn't really attracted to them. So, I'm saying the money makes them handsomer. Like height and something is, like, uh, people that like height. That's one thing, right? But the money is what really people look at. So he's just like, uh, well, she wants, and he literally just this whole rest of the song. He just says that. He can tell that all she wants is the money, but she just says it's the vibe, or she just says it's his personality, and they just keep they keep really talking about it. Which I think that's why I think this was be like an answer and response kind of uh, thing, like we got in the remix. But he says, and I think this is the thing: this society has a standard of where um, it doesn't have to be men, but men or women, right? Like if you make a lot of money, there are people that will just hang around you because you make that X amount of money. And not necessarily because they're true friends or real friends for you. They just they just like that you're making money or if you're in a relationship or anything. They like you because of the money, not necessarily because of anything else. Or if you go with them, you always spend your money. You know, that might be a sign that they only are with you because of what you provide with them for the money. And I think that's a stereotype around uh, around society where you get a lot of people that make a lot more money than like other people. And... There seem to, you know, always spend somebody's money, which we get into that too. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, but that's a, but see, that's a whole different argument for another, like another whole day or something, where we talk about the the, the double standard, right? But 
he says he's not going to give up the cash. Like, he's not going to spend all of his money on her because he doesn't, you know, not necessarily because he doesn't have it. It's just because he doesn't want her to get too attached to the money, which I think is a huge thing. A lot of people get attached to the money that their partners or somebody brings to them, and they don't think about, uh, you know, um, what about my money, right? So that is kind of what this song is mainly about, and he just kind of goes through the stereotypes and say, I'm fine, but the money makes me richer. But I think he's also, he. so Russ is doing this by himself, but Russ is kind of explaining to himself that throughout this whole song, like, you have to know your worth and know when people are just with you because of your vibe or just because of how much money you make, which which is really stayed through the song. It's only a two-minute song, which I think is just crazy. And we get a lot of that throughout the song. That's all it is. And then he just says that he's five six, but the money make him six five. Like he can stand on top of his money or his money is part of his personality. Where we do have some people that are like that, where the only thing that they have or their only personality is their money, right? Like but then you have people that are attracted to their money, which be, be which would be a gold digger. But we we talk you know, he talks about this little song, which is only like two minutes and twenty three seconds long, which I think is impressive because this topic of people saying uh the 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 or what the saying was was he i know he really wants to be with me if he buys me a birkin bag which i think they go for a thousand dollars a grand or something like that i think they go for a thousand dollars where love can love doesn't have to be necessarily monetary value or material things right but i think he puts a spin on it where if you're looking for a rapper that's gonna talk about uh your ne- your value or your worth to somebody in a re- or a relationship, I think this is the best part to kind of do it, and these the song is the best way to express it. Um, but as I said, Russ is less known, but I also the song overall is definitely a, a five point two out of ten. I guess not a, bet, a six. Well, I go five point six out of ten, six point five out of ten, and it's just because it has it. Re- it really does have a meaning behind. The lyrics, even though the lyrics are extremely simple, but they're they have many different like overlays with it, which is why I think this is the better song. Well, like one of the better songs. Um, but also I, as I'm saying, like we don't expect this from New Jersey rappers. Like born from New Jersey, a lot of people don't think, oh, we have rappers in uh Virginia, um Atlanta. Well, we have rappers in Atlanta, but Utah Ohio, you know, we don't have rappers there, but this is a great rapper from New Jersey, which isn't bad. Like, the song isn't bad. It's very catchy, which is what a lot of rappers are going for, catchy but also informative, which I think the song does and has a lot of material to go with it, but it is a very short song. So, overall, 6.5 out of 10, um, Russ, handsomer.